Det är det där du? Ja, okej. Ja, vad var det? Uh, yeah, I trying to kind of got into that. My uh, my senior year of high school, found my way just rebounding the ball and pushing in, starting to break and stuff like that, being like a extra guard with my size and stuff like that, and playing in transition, playing fast, something I like to do. So I kind of just picked up on it. Yeah. I think you said that last year too, that, that going after the ball so you can get it and go was mm-hmm. kind of the motivation for that. Yeah. Have you have you found yourself working on that craft of rebounding just to rebound? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I like rebounding, of course, because you know it helps our team, especially on the on the offensive end. Uh, but you know, me being a guy that can get the rebound, usually, you know, if a uh, Dave gets rebound, we got to wait to somebody so we can pass to somebody. But if me or CBO, somebody gets the board, you know, Juan and Remy can run stuff like that. So I feel like our offense is so much faster when we crash the boards like that. Have, have you surprised yourself at this level rebounding with the success you have? Uh. A little like in high school, I was like kind of like a six to seven rebounder guy, but I mean, never was getting double doubles like, you know, last year, of course. So, uh, but you know, just I've just found like a nick for finding myself to find the ball and just, you know, being in the right place and stuff like that. Is there any way you can try to, or do you try to get offensive rebounds where you can pick up six easy points here? No, yeah, that's definitely something I need to improve. Um, my offensive rebounds haven't been, I don't, I don't think I've had as many as I did before, but. Definitely something that I need to focus on, and I've been uh, trying to, you know, get in more spots and crash more when guys shoot and stuff like that. So for sure. Dylan, do you like playing in zone? Yeah, I, I love zone. I mean, when teams on us, we have the, a great shooting team, and I love being in the middle of the zone because I'm able to, you know, shoot the mid range or make a play, throw the lob, just different things like that. So I don't think teams have had much success playing the zone anyway. So I'm I'm all for that. Yeah, sort of the same thing here. Has that been part of your? Basketball career too, playing that middle spot. Yeah, I, I grew up playing that when I was a kid, all through high school. I've just always been right there. Dylan, you guys trapped a lot of ball screens this last game. Uh, can you just talk about the adjustment to doing that and what it takes from other guys when you do do that? Uh, yeah, I mean trapping guys like uh, Grant and uh, just just those kind of guys who can come off a ball screen and make a lot of plays. You know, it's good to trap them, get the ball at their hands. Uh, you know, make somebody else kind of beat us on that kind of end, and uh, just you know. Changes it up for them a little bit. Not a lot of teams are used to getting trapped on a ball screen like that, especially with our size and guys who are trapping. So doing those things are really effective and uh, just getting the ball in other people's hands, really. Yeah, it's something you guys can do because obviously it helps you get steals mm-hmm. and run outs. Yeah, I think it leads to a lot of fast breaks, a lot of steals, and it's something that I think we look good at. Uh, you know, always can get better for sure. Though. You, know, you guys obviously had no problem adjusting to Nevada short turnaround. Yeah. Same thing with George Mason. Uh, what do you know about him so far and, and what's the challenge? Uh, I mean, I know the solid team. I think Nevada actually played them yeah. previously in the year. So, you know, we just got to respect every opponent. Um, you know, we're basketball players, so we're able to adjust to, you know, any team. We grew up playing in tournaments, not knowing who we play at all the next day. So it's all just basketball at the end of the day. You know, we, we go on our pregame show. 90 minutes out, and it'll be snowing tomorrow. I didn't even know that. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and there'll be a lot of fans thinking about, you know, coming out in the bad weather. Can you just do a little promo and we'll cut it about, hey, fans, it's snowing, but it's warm. You know, whatever you want to say about come out and join us here. Yeah, I mean, uh, like like a promo, like, like, yeah, a, like a little off. thing. Yeah. Like talking to the fans? Yes. Yeah. I'm like, hey, fans, you know, I know it's going to be a cold one, but. Allen House is pretty warm inside, especially when you guys pack the house like you do. Uh, we love uh, we love y'all support and, you know, always appreciate coming out there and seeing you guys cheer us on. How do you feel about your success as a sixth man? I mean, I feel like I've been able to adjust well. Uh, obviously, it's just been different for me, but I feel like as of late, you know, these last couple of games, I've been trying to, you know, find different ways to affect the game and, you know, help my team and do everything that I can to do that. I think he's done great. Uh, coming to a new conference, new team, new coach, new everything. He's been able to adjust and uh, feel well with our team. He's helped us out a lot. He gives us a personality, like, you know, a spark that we definitely need. Have you ever played with a guy like that? Uh, not as not as much character as he has. He's pretty pretty different when it comes to that, but it's, it's, it's like unique. You know, you need some guy like that. We, we see it on, on game night, obviously, but what's it like at, at practice or, or when you guys are It's the same. Like, he's just really the same guy on off the court. You know, he's just always bringing character, personality, just 
smiling, just different things like that. So you hit a drive through and they get the order right and you go crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's going crazy no matter what. Uh, I haven't I haven't been able to talk to him, but you know, it's prayers to him, you know, uh him and his family. That's uh, one of our family members as well. You know, you come through Kansas, you're always gonna be family, I feel like, and you know, I just wish the best for him.